Hey everyone, I'm Cameron with speedcubeshop.com and today I'm going to be taking a look at the coveted RS3M 2021. Let's see what's changed. So the RS3M 2020 that I have right here is one of the most, actually the most popular budget cube that we have seen in a long time and quickly surpassed the sales of other popular items like the Yushin Little Magic 3x3. I think that what made the RS3M 2020 so great was the fact that it was a very low price point of $8.95 and offered really nice performance out of the box and it even rivaled some lower end um, like mid-range speed cubes. So it was really great value and people absolutely love it. So the year is now 2021 and so it only makes sense that we have the RS3M 2021 here for you today. The main feature that I do know that we are going to be looking at is the new maglev feature, which is magnetic levitation. And essentially it is two magnets that repel each other in the core, I believe, which allows for faster layer turning. So you can kind of see on the box right here, um, it shows a little bit of what that looks like. Um, it looks like there's two components that are that have the magnets in them, which cause it to do the repulsion. I am really curious what that's going to do to the price of the 2021 version. I don't expect it to be too much more expensive, but we will have to wait and see on that. Um, running through the specs, it is 10 grams heavier than the 2020 version. So we're at about 95 grams in product weight, which does feel really nice. Um, it, I personally tend to enjoy slightly heavier cues because I do feel a little bit more confidence inspiring. The layer turning is a lot faster. Um, definitely really effortless compared to the 2020, which still is fast, but is probably getting about 180 degree turns. Whereas the 2021 is doing nearly 360 degree layer turns with one flick. So looking at the pieces themselves from the exterior, they look to be about the same. I'll go ahead and try to pop out an edge to compare. So looking at the internals, these do appear to be exactly the same, which I do believe is a testament that Moyu really did nail um, the design of the RS3M 2020 and the fact that they're just updating the core with that new maglev system does say a lot. So it is crazy how much the maglev does change the feel of the cube. Like I said, it's, in my opinion, a little bit too uncontrollable out of the box, but that can be remedied pretty easily with a lubricant like Nebula even some Galaxy or some Cosmos, which will help kind of make the turning a little bit less uncontrollable and kind of help bring it down to a more reasonable speed. Corner cutting is about the same from what I remember from the 2020 version. So again, not really too much has changed. The maglev doesn't really impact that. Um, so really, I would say the 2021 is just gonna be a good option for those who are looking for a faster version of the RS3M 2020. If you weren't happy with the speed of this one, this will definitely solve that problem for you and then some. So before I get into a few solves, the last thing I wanna to touch on is the accessories. They are gonna be exactly the same. You get the Moyu stand, your screwdriver, and then the dual adjustment um, tool with the extra elasticity piece. So um, again, not really too much has changed here. Let me go ahead and just do a few solves and we'll see how it feels. I'm a little bit out of practice, but let's just see how overall the cube feels. Off the bat, it's very overwhelming. And the frosted plastic that they chose for this is a little bit slick. And honestly, it's making it a little hard for me to control this, but I think part of that might be the fact that I do have a Band-Aid on this thumb, so my grip isn't really as good as usual. But, I mean, the cube does feel really nice. It feels a little bit more clacky than previous version. So, my final thoughts of the 2021 version are that it's a nice improvement for speed, but really um, I think that it's a little bit too fast personally and that it's a little bit too slick. So I'm having a hard time gripping it, but is isn't anything that some PVC coating would not fix. 
So ultimately, um, I did not see this coming for the 2021 version. I thought it would be more of a redesign. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you excited to try out this new maglev feature? And did you think that the RS3M 2020 was too slow? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.